everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Michelle Lima and I hope that you are going to enjoy all the personal development content that comes onto this channel. So a happy and fabulous April to each and every single person that is watching this video in April. We actually made it through too much and we are in April, so that's like a good yay yay for all of us. So you guys know that every single month we do talk about what happened in the previous month and we do color reviews and we plan for the following month. One of the biggest things I shared with you in a previous video I did end of February coming into March was on how we can actually plan into our new months to make sure that we maximize the months that are coming and if anything you guys know, if you're a day one, you know that on this channel we believe that every single day, week and month make our goals actually come true. So this means that the steps that we are going to be taking on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis will contribute to our vision at the end of the year. So when the year ends and we're doing the countdown to a new year, every single day, every single month of the year is going to count. So this channel, what we've been doing most is really trying to keep you and me accountable to all the goals and every single thing that we've said that we wanted to achieve. So in that video, I shared with you guys one of the biggest things that I wanted to get better at in March which was consistency I had been preaching this to myself and I preached it to you guys as well and out of everything that I wanted to accomplish in March I actually accomplished majority of the things except that one thing and as I was reviewing as far as the previous month is concerned and coming into this month my biggest thing was really on the what's the actual thing like why am I not able to um, like why am I not cracking that code as far as you know consistency is concerned and my biggest answer was this one thing that I want to share with you guys on today's video but before we get into it I want you to realize that for April we are going to be using the same steps that we spoke about in the previous video if you didn't watch that video I'm going to link it down below but you definitely need to watch that video so you can catch up with all the monthly plannings that we do and the biggest things that we begin with every single month is we will reveal the previous month which means we go back and we look at every single thing that we did the previous month then we really ask ourselves if we did actually maximize ourselves what did we want to learn did we learn it how did we do what did we want to work on what did we want to improve on and what do we want to chuck away and then what do we want to extend into the new month and to that what are the new things that we probably didn't get a chance to do in March that we want to do in April so we on this channel do that for every single month and in April this is exactly what we are going to do so we're basically just going to refer that to the previous video to get the steps but on today's video we are going to deal with this one thing that I told you about which is my biggest realization of why I and you are struggling to actually remain consistent in our goals and quite a number of things that we wanted to do and the biggest thing that I am going to share right now is within our habits. This for me was quite a shocker because I thought to myself I have a really like my habits are not that terrible you know what I mean that's really where my headset was all the time but until I realized that my inability to become consistent in certain areas of my life is literally just a fruit of a bigger tree. And what is that bigger tree? That bigger tree is a habit. So let's break down what a habit truly is. According to my understanding and various research that I have done, habit basically becomes a behavior that you constantly are doing to a point where it becomes subconscious. It's something that you could say breathing becomes a habit because you've been breathing all your life. It's things that you do without thinking about it. So sometimes we have the habit of grabbing our phones and quickly being on them because we do it so much that it's become so subconscious and I realized that if our habits were really that good if our habits were full of discipline and they were great we wouldn't have to struggle with a certain number of things in our lives that we struggle with so how do we begin then to start dissecting which of our habits we are not getting right that are hindering us from achieving our goals and how do we actually start fixing those habits Okay, so this is how we are going to do it. You are going to grab a piece of paper or relatively your journal, or maybe somewhere where you normally write things that matter the most to you. So this is my little journal. You're gonna grab that and you're gonna grab a pen as well. And you're going to get into your journal and start writing the things that you believe that you weren't able to really accomplish. So for me, my top priority list would be consistency. I told you guys that I'd been wanting to be super consistent with my um, YouTube channel as far as giving you guys content. 
and super consistent with like my Instagram, with my Twitter, and all the other things that I do. But with YouTube, I failed dismally in March. Like it was just hectic. And one thing I realized is we can find so many excuses about why we weren't able to do certain things. And I can give you 10,000 reasons about why I wasn't able to give you guys the right, the content at the time that I said I would. However, at the end of the day, I need to realize that I have been given the liberty of choice and that means that I can actually make the decision that with regardless whatever it is that's going to hinder me to make or to do something I still need to be able to do it because I am in control of my life and I have the liberty of making that choice so no excuses we cannot use the pandemic that has happened or all the changes as excuses which is something that we've been speaking about on my Instagram page that we are literally declaring these 21 days as no excuses 21 days because ultimately guys if you are going to look for a reason to not do anything you are going to find it so winners do not make excuses but they triumph through and one of the other things I also want to share is the realization that sometimes we blame the external things in our life so if you actually sit down and look at why you actually couldn't do what you need to do you will kind of blame this is what this is what happened I don't get enough money I wasn't able to do this I wasn't able to do that and those are things that are influenced by external factors but one of the biggest things I've learned is that winners and successful people do not make decisions based on the external factors but it has to start from within so in, in, in an environment of changing your habits the question needs to become what it, what is it internally that hindered you from doing that so for instance for me one of my biggest things I can share with you right now is my inability to be consistent the actual tree of that actual root of that fruit would possibly be procrastination thinking that it's okay I can always do it again tomorrow and then tomorrow something comes up and then I'm not able to do it whatever the case is and I know that a lot of people do suffer from this so after you've written those things down that have been hindering you or the things that you've been struggling with what I want you to realize is just that those things are fruits to a bigger tree and you need to start locating the tree so for me consistency becomes one of them but what is the tree the tree is actually procrastination which means I need to change my habit of procrastination this means that there are times I'm like cool I'm gonna do this and then when I don't get the chance to do it I'm like okay cool I can always do it tomorrow I can always do it next week and then something does come up at that time so really having the right discipline to actually stop procrastinating that becomes the root of my consistency and that will help you work on the actual root because what I think that we do more than often and this is something that was like an aha moment for me is that we focus on the fruits and we don't focus on the roots so we keep planting consistency consistency but the biggest thing is what is it that is hindering you from being consistent do you actually sit down and realize why am I struggling with this so much and then start dealing with the root of the issue and the problem because that's the only way you are going to conquer and in anything if you are going to be struggling with anything in your life in anything what you need to realize is that your habits become so important because those habits whatever it is whatever habit it could be carries the root to the thing that you're struggling with so the all the things at the top basically just become these small little fruits that we're eating off of but we realize that there's a bigger tree that we need to dismantle that we need to change so once you've located those things you need to start committing to yourself to actually working on them one by one this means that you are going to dedicate your time your energy and everything that is in you to start working on them however i just want to share with you guys one big tip that i literally found in a book that i've been currently reading that's going to be so useful in terms of you handling this the right way so in atomic habits which is a book by james clay he introduces a theory that is called the aggregation of marginal gain and this theory is based on bettering and improving your habits and small little things in your life by small little mansions. So look at it this way. This is how they explain it in the book. Imagine if every single thing that you need to work on in your life, you literally dedicated to working on it 1% each and every day. So you dedicate to improving that area of your life over 1% each and every single day. So you do not try to become an overnight success or to become so brilliant in two days because guys, honestly, it only takes 21 days to get rid of a habit for a normal person. But for some people, it does take a little bit longer. So I just want to share that with you. This is something that I am going to be enforcing within this month of April or just trying to be better with 1% a day. I'm not trying to get it right 50% a day, 20% a day, but I'm just going to try to get it better by 1% on each and every single 
day because by the end of the month, if I try to get it better 1% each and every single day and I'm consistent in that, I will be 30% better at that area of my life by the end of April. And guys, believe it or not, 30% is a lot. And 30% consistent is more better than 20% today, 30% tomorrow, 40% the other day, 10% the other day. And at the end of the month, I cannot accumulate to anything that is of beneficial to all my dreams and goals. So I just share that with you for you to start that. And I think one of our biggest problems when, as far as habits are concerned is that we try to become so great at things overnight. You know, there's a saying that I actually like so much that says it takes years, years of training to become an overnight success. That means that it takes one to make 10. You know, it takes a baby to make one step to eventually learn and begin to know how to walk. So you need to realize that in every single thing that you need to do and that you need to develop in your life, specifically for the purpose of this video, the habits that we need to change, they will take different steps. They will take one day at a time and one step at a time. And you don't need to rush yourself, you don't need to hire yourself, and you don't need to, you know, beat yourself up because sometimes we're gonna be caught up in that red race because we wanna become so great and so good at it right now, but you realize that there is no pressure. There is no need for you to want to be a Rambo today, but you need to go through the training and you need to go through that discipline and you need to go through that consistency because guys, if you can be consistent with that 1% each and every single day, I promise you it'll be so much easier to accumulate the 30% that you want for the 30 days of the month or the 31 for instance. And it's like what they say with the money principle, if you can be so faithful with one rand, with two rand, it's easier to be faithful with 10, 20, 15, a million, whatever the case is, which is basically what I want to call the power of one this means that if you can just hold on and be faithful to becoming great at that one thing in your life or just to improving one percent of a skill you would definitely be so much better and so much further with the things that you want to accomplish and changing your habits so april this month we are going to be focusing on the different ways and different habits that we need to change and I'm going to take you guys through several habits that are most common and detrimental to quite a lot of people in terms of how they um, pursue and they follow their dreams. So if you have any habits that you've struggled with and just don't really know how to move past them and how to start working on them, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to start getting into studying and really kind of unpacking that so you and I can know how at any point of our life, it could be now, it could be later, you know, or just helping out the people in their lives how they can actually get past that so that they can achieve or so that we can achieve our 2020 vision yeah thanks love i'm almost done So let me know and remember that in April we are changing the way that we think. With that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and it has been super fruitful for you. If you have, please do give a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will be coming at you guys with more videos on habits this month because in April we are definitely changing our mental, financial, career, relationship habits and we are going to move on to be better people. And one thing to actually realize is that it is the second quarter of the year so we need to get moving and you need to still continuously keep going so i hope that you are keeping safe with your loved ones till next time bye